our uh, monthly news, February 2018. Start off with a clip from Matia. He's currently in Brazil visiting Precious Plast. Yo, Dave, how's it going? So today I'm in uh, Rio de Janeiro and I came to the IED University uh, to meet with Bruno and to check out on his uh, course at these universities, uh, trying to teach uh, students how to work with machines and um, create a small little project in a favela here in Rio, trying to tackle a number of uh, issues between others, create a better livelihood for uh, kids in the slum and uh, teaching them how to recycle plastic with precious plastic. Now you could also saw him in last month's update in Colombia. And the main reason he's in South America is because we're doing a pilot project in Chile in March. Kind of same thing as we did in Kenya. And he figured I'll just go a bit earlier because it's nice. And I still had some stuff to finish here. But now I'm ready. Yeah, so currently in Chile, it's so nice and warm here compared to the cool workspace in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, so I'm currently in the capital city, Santiago, in some sort of park. I'm not exactly sure where I am precisely because I just arrived yesterday, so I still need to figure out some spots. So if you happen to know some nice places to visit, let me know. I was actually thinking of visiting a lithium mine, you know, the stuff they use for batteries. They're pretty big here in Chile, but I'm not sure if you can actually get in. So if you know anyone, let me know. Um, so I'm gonna stick around for a few weeks and then I'll make my way down south where we're gonna set up the pilot project. One thing I really wanted to finish was making some new story hopper videos, season two. And these are topics which are super complex and, and have been in my head for a long time. I was actually going back in the files and I saw I recorded some elements back in 2013. I mean, it's been in my head that entire time. It's weird. And the topics are quite complex because they all address these problems that are very much embedded in systems, so hard to visualize, but also very complex. So it took a while before I could really, I don't know, narrow down what is actually the problem and what to do about it. And the first one that is ready is called the dark side of data. Well, I think it's ready. I'm not sure because I've been looking at it for a long time. I can't really tell anymore whether stuff makes sense or doesn't. So I'm gonna try it something new. So I'm gonna share the rough cut on Patreon so you can give some comments or say, tell me, or tell me when something is just doesn't make sense. Um, don't share this video, it's just for you guys to give feedback and to tell me whether I'm going nuts or not. So, let me know. So I was looking on the pressure plastic map here in Santiago quite active, cool. So I sent a few messages out and we're gonna visit one. just finished my water but I don't want to buy a plastic stupid bottle so hopefully he has some water should be here hey guys my name is Christian and who's that my son Antonio run away camera here 
This is uh, our workshop in Santiago de Chile. We are dedicated uh, last year to sell precious plastic machines, patent pending. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> with a pre precious plastic authorization yes. so uh, this the, the first machines uh, shredder machines and over machine to travel this week to uh, Iquique a city in in the north of Chile with serious water problems and plastic problems and can you show us your place? this is my place uh, this is the table. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <coughs> that looks like a shredder. The shredder, monster shredder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a first intent to to shredder plastic. You can see this switch <laughs> made. <laughs> looks safe. Mm -hmm. And this is the other. This is your workspace. Yes. The compression machine. Compression. The uh, extrusion machine. machine. People don't believe me when I... Because <laughs> in my family don't... Are you sure you want to do that? Everyone... Want to do what? Plastic. plastic? Yeah, I want to keep working on... Yeah, I really want to keep working on this because... Yeah. Um, ah, it's a lot of... It's a big, massive problem. So wh why did they say, uh, why did they doubt? Uh, uh, because uh, they, I think they see it this way. Uh, it's more it's more safe if I work with mining probably, mm -hmm. but I don't like to work with For a job you mean, for uh, yeah, make for a living? Just, yeah, for living you need to paste things and yeah. all that, yeah, you know. That. You are wasting your time. Yeah, I think I, yeah, they say you waste your time here, but I, honestly, I think I waste my time more working for the big company. So, yeah. because, you, yeah, okay. So, for me, it's a very, very good chunk, you know, very, uh, it's a motivation. And it's people like this that keep me going, m motivated to do something about the problem, even though their friends and family don't get it. We kept talking like this a bit more, hearing their feedback, things we could improve. I got some water and had it back home. And finally, 3D Hub showed a very detailed article about how we made our iPhone mold using CNC milling, so you can see all the details in there. No, that's not the final thing. See, back in the Phoneblocks days, there were some guys that were developing a healthcare module, and it could uh, measure your blood. And one of those young engineers, Martin, is currently studying in London, and is now working on plastic nice and with a small team they're actually prototyping a device that can measure and scan the type of plastic so whether a bottle is polypropylene polyethylene polystyrene and i really like their project because i feel this is one of the most crucial things for plastic recycling to know which type of plastic you're working with and those devices already exist but they're not accessible i mean it's almost impossible to get your hands on one and they want to make it more accessible he made a video uh, about it and posted it in the forum, so you can have a look to see where they are. They could also use some help, so make sure to read that topic and help them out. And convince them to make it open source. They're not sure yet what it should do it, but no, no, wait, don't pressure them. Or well, maybe a little. Alright, so I'm off editing the video now. In the place where I'm sleeping, which is right there in the bush bush. It's a nice place. So see you guys next month.